morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Meg, and this is Maker Mornings with Meg. Welcome to my studio. And I have a project to share with you. If it looks like it's feeling a little bit Christmassy in here, perhaps, that's because it is. We are starting Christmas in July season here at Low and Stamp. So it won't be all Christmas for the month of July, but I do have a number of things to share with you. And the link for supplies includes uh, these fabulous new Christmas things. So we are using some absolutely gorgeous papers. These are the uh, Seasons of Green and Gold Designer Series paper and the Graceful Greenery Vellum. Really, really gorgeous. Uh, the Golden Greenery Stamps and Dies coordinate with both of them to cut out really pretty images. Um, and then we have, of course, the Greetings of the Season uh, greeting set to go along with these. So if you're thinking to yourself, I have not seen those in any book, that's because they're not. These were uh, or are an online exclusive, so they go direct to the online store and you will not want to miss them because of that. So hey Trish, uh, so I'm going to get started showing you a really pretty card today. We're going to feature some of the embellishments and goodies that come as part of this suite and we're gonna feature um, both of the stamp sets. It's one of those uh, double sweet stamp sets. Double bundle, double bundle sweets, there you go. Um, anyway, all right. I am, yes, dressed for Christmas, you like it? See, we're all, we are all here with the theme this morning. So um, now, if you are a person who doesn't usually do Christmas this early, um, I would recommend thinking about picking up these things if you love them on the early side because sometimes those online exclusives can go pretty quickly. Uh, the other thing is that really it's kind of never too early for Christmas. I mean, January 3rd, probably. I, I suppose you could wait till after 12th night at least to get started. Um, but having that stuff ready for your holidays just makes the holidays a breeze when that time gets here. So uh, we're going to get you some inspiration today that will... Um, Let's see, a little different camera setup today uh, that will get you um, inspired for the holidays. So in that vein, I have actually a poll for you guys. I know we haven't done one for a while and everybody loves them. Um, so I'll do the poll here in a little bit. So, all right. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with some of these pretty papers here. And let me show them to you. They are in uh, gold foiled papers. And they're gold foiled on one side here. I have mine a little bit out of order. And then the back sides are these really gorgeous greens here like this, okay? So um, I'm really loving them for a couple of reasons. First of all, they're very easy to use in small pieces, fronts, backs, any of the above. And then the other reason is that the dies from Golden Greenery match these. So these are the stamps. So you could stamp and uh, die cut. And then there are two pages of dies. This is like a mega die set of the dies from the golden greenery die coordinate. So these guys here and the um, bells here cut out these bells here from the designer series paper. So those are going to um, coordinate and give you a chance to cut out those perfectly. And then the greenery dies like this, um, cut out the greenery vellum here. They cut out uh, some of the other uh, papers here. These um, pretty branches here are cut here with these dies. Um, these are also cut here. So there's a zillion things to cut with this whole suite. Um, or you can, of course, stamp and, and do whatever you like. There are also some extra pieces here um, that die cut uh, like the extra image dies and they're, um, my friend Lindsay calls them scene builder dies <laughs> and they are a great accessory to go along with all the other pieces. So this is really, really robust. And these little berries here also cut, um, out like this. So we talked about these a little bit cause I showed you some cards last week, but I'm going to show you, we're going to make a card. I was wondering why I was thinking like, I've already talked about these. So I did, but I didn't show you a card with them. So that's what we're going to do today. And I have um, my cardstock cut. This is going to be one of the um, Love and Stamps monthly tutorials. And I have my cardstock cut um, here. This is a regular half sheet. Of course, it's uh, basic white thick cardstock because I like that for my card bases. I have a um, quarter inch mat of Mossy Meadow and then a um, 
uh, let's see, if this is a quarter inch mat, then this is a half inch mat um, of the Very Vanilla. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this um, to make our patchwork quilt really easy. This is a card that you can make with really any stamp set um, that gives you a focal point and you're gonna want a greeting and maybe a tag or something to go along with it. And I'll show you a couple other um, examples of this layout that I've done for other, um, for other projects. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use these. They're cut two inch strips. You can cut these actually a little bit smaller. You could cut them um, to one and seven eighths inch, but I'm just gonna do the easy version here and you will see why, because it just makes the um, cutting and everything super simple. So cut yourself some two inch strips like this and then we're gonna piece them up into small pieces. Oh, Sue says she has a retreat this weekend starting Christmas cards, that's fun. All right, so to make it easy for ourselves, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some glue across this hole back here. And I am going to start layering my paper. So I'm gonna butt these up against the edges of my cardstock, okay? So that we have our um, edges all straight and lined up. And this way, you're not trying to, um, you're not trying to line up uh, pieces on a layer here, which can be a little bit tricky. So the other solution, the other way to do this would be to kind of lay them out on here and glue them all down. But I really like using this cardstock sort of um, map method just because it makes it super simple for me to get everything square and lined up and exactly where I want it. So we're just going to line these up here and there we go. Okay. All right, so see where we're see where we're at here. So now I have a mat that's going to fit down perfectly on our layer. Now I do have uh, let's see a tiny bit here. I'm gonna trim. There we go. Bug me a little bit. Okay, and this layer is going to fit on here. So let's go ahead and glue this down. Um, and then the next step is going to be to make a bow. And I have some. Okay, for everybody who just went grown, I do not like bow tying. Um, hang in there. I'm going to show you uh, a way to tie the bow that is really, really, um, I don't know, it makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to grab my ribbon here. This is the absolutely beautiful vanilla satin ribbon and uh, it is really, really fine. It's really shiny and it just feels good to work with. So you guys are going to love it. All right, we're going to tie this around here and I'm not going to worry too much about um, my bow tie. I'm just going to go ahead and tie my bow and it's probably going to end up upside down and that is perfectly okay because I'll show you what we're going to do. All right, so there we have our bow and I'll show you, oh, it didn't end up upside down. Well, that's uh, good, I guess, <laughs> but I'll show you what would have happened if it did end up upside down. All right, so we ended up with our bow the right side up now, if it had been upside down, <laughs> never fails, right? What I would do is I would go ahead and slide it off my card and then flip my card over and slide it back on again. So that makes it really simple, okay? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this on here. And then I'm going to trim my ribbon ends. When I have a ribbon that's this wide, I really like to finish the ends with um, sort of a, a pretty finish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold the ribbon in half and I'm going to cut from the center to the edge on an angle. So now we have that little um, kind of fun, uh, I don't know, what would you call that? Like a fishtail end, I guess, to our ribbon. So let's go. It works best if your scissors are really sharp. So if your scissors aren't very sharp, you might need to go find another pair or grab some new paper snips. Um, but that's going to give us this fun uh, patchwork slash sort of um, gift bow kind of thing here. It's almost like patchwork gifts there on our, on our tree. So now this is going to come here and get attached with Stampin' Dimensionals. And I love to use the edge strips from my Stampin' Dimensionals, especially when I want to just um, adhere something. Now, here's another bow trick for you. My bow is pretty tight, so I really am happy um, with it the way it is, but if you tie your bow and you end up with a lot of slack in your ribbon that runs around, um, you can do this trick where you basically 
squish the extra, I'll just sort of make, squish the extra slack out of it there and then go ahead and attach it in the back. So this extra slack would be on the back of your card and then your bow would be super nice and tight. So keep that trick in mind if you are um, finding that your bow tying is kind of loose. Uh, that makes it really simple. All right. And then of course we would want those to go all the way across there if we're doing our, uh, took that slack out because we don't want that to end up to uh, loop there, loop B there. All right. Okay, so now we have our basic card. So now we need to do some stamping and some decorating. You guys ready for this? Okay, so uh, I have a poll ready that I wanted to share with you guys because um, we are uh, sort of in this um, early Christmas season. And I know Sue said she's already starting hers, but let me switch down to my poll here and see if I can launch this. So the question is, um, and you can vote if you're watching live, when do you start your holiday and Christmas cards? Um, so there are a couple different choices. Um, some people I think start when they get inspired by a pretty new supply that they love. Um, some people start when uh, the calendar page comes up and they're like, oh, it's time. I need to go ahead and uh, get my calendar get my calendar going here. It's uh, July or September or whenever you like to start your holiday projects. Um, and then uh, there's the always famous, like never early enough. If you are the person who's always running out of time um, to do your cards, then uh, maybe that never early enough option is you. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and pop this closed again. Let's see. So far we have most people start by the calendar. So I'll let you guys vote for a little bit and then we'll go on from there. Okay. So, um, I've got my colors here, um, Mossy Meadow and Old Olive, and these are going to be our, um, pieces here for our tag. And so let's go here. I've got my, uh, piece here and we're going to go ahead and do some stamping, um, of our greenery. And for this one, uh, I really like to do a little bit of stamping off so I'm gonna stamp on a piece of scrap paper first. So go ahead and ink up your stamp and then, uh, needed to grab some scrap paper. Um, ink up your stamp and then go ahead and stamp on a piece of scrap once or even twice. I'm gonna go with twice here. And then we have our very light color here. Now for our darker, I really want this to be a different shade um, or different color uh, a little bit. So I'm gonna go with Mossy Meadow and I'm going to stamp off once, twice, three times. And then it's three too light. Nah, I think I'm gonna stamp off twice. Okay, once and oh, only once, stamp off once. And then stamp here on our project. Okay, so there we have this really pretty layered greeny. Um, it's actually a very, very uh, pretty match here for the ones that are printed on the designer series paper. So you can see how those go together. The nice thing about the paper is that they have that pretty foil on them. And now we're going to go ahead and add a greeting. And for this card, I'm actually gonna use this little tiny greeting here that says love and joy. I love the way this um, font set works together. I think I talked about it last time about the, um, the scripty font and the block font um, being a little different. And we're gonna grab one of the dies here and it is going to be this one here because um, even though these are all really pretty, uh, I really like the square corners of this one because it matches the square corners of our card. So we're kind of coordinating those there. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this on here and I'm gonna leave a little spot kind of down here at the bottom for my um, greeting. So you guys can join me again here. There we go. Uh, and we'll do our little die cutting together here. Um, so I hope everybody had a great holiday weekend and maybe got some, uh, got some good craft time in. So let's go ahead and pop this back. All right. And now we have our tag here. Okay. The other thing you can do is you can, of course, die cut a whole bunch of tags ahead and just pop them in your piece here so that you have them ready to use when you want them. All right. 
Oh, I still need our mossy meadow because we are going to add our greeting and here it is. Love and joy. And I'm going to stamp it right down here in this bottom corner here um, where we've left a spot for ourselves. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and tie a little loop on this. So I've got some linen thread. Oh, Joan says she's thinking about it. Your cards, but not seriously. Elaine says she likes making Christmas cards in the summer. Um, oh, Lila said she'd like a gold to use on projects. Yes, agree. Um, Trisha says too hot to think about Christmas. Yeah. Okay, let's see how our poll's doing. It looks like, um, oh, see the, the slight majority is getting inspired. So 60% of you said when you get inspired by a pretty new product is when you start and 40% uh, of you said by the calendar. Hey, I'm glad that nobody's uh, picking the not early enough one. All right, so I've said before that I really think that the linen thread is beautiful, but it's not robust enough um, on its own. So we're gonna loop it a few times. So I've got actually three strands here and I'm gonna go ahead and cut it at the top, okay? So let's see, do I, do I get three strands? Three strands here, okay? And so now, whoa, you guys are really going away from me. And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and feed this through here and then we are going to tie a knot and then we're going to do some little trimming here we'll give it a little haircut to make it a little neater so um i don't like to cut my thread too short to start because then it's just too hard to handle uh but i don't want it to be like you know messy and hanging out everywhere anyway okay so there we have sort of our cute tag here which you could use for lots and lots of things but we're going to add it to our card to kind of finish off this bow present kind of motif that we have going on all right so i'm going to go ahead and give this a trim and cut away all those extra pieces so it's almost like a little tassel here because we have so much pretty thread and this is going to pop underneath and fit right here with our bow so you can make it sort of um uh kitty corner here or straight um, maybe I'll make this one kitty corner. I have another example to show you where it's pretty straight. So, all right, so we're gonna do that. And I'm going to just pop a Stampin' Dimensional under here and slide it in again. So that makes it pretty simple to attach. All right, now we need a little more um, bonus going on here with some um, bling. And then we're gonna do a little stamping inside our card. So I have these really pretty. These are the Cherry Cobbler and Pearl Adhesive Backed Berries. And like I said earlier, they come in both the red and the pearl version. Um, slide that off of there so that you can really see which, um, you just look right through and see which color you like best. And I am going to, um, I'm gonna go with the pearl ones here. So I'm gonna peel this baby off and I'm gonna stick it right here. Kind of in our greeting there, okay? So really, um, a nice accent to go with all that pretty green and gold. And then let's do a little stamping inside our card here. So I have my um, I have my stamps already. So let's go ahead and use those again. And this time I'm going to just stamp off once with our old olive and then here onto our card. And then we'll use our Mossy Meadow here, full strength. Oh, I think I just stuck my whole arm into my Mossy Meadow ink pad. Really, I, oh, and then I just stuck my other arm into my old olive stamp. All right, well, we are looking festive here this morning. Oh, goodness. All right, so now we have just a little bit of accent there to go inside our card. And then, of course, you would want to stamp your envelope. Now, I have a whole other bonus for this. And the... Um, the uh, other bonus is the extra dies from this die set. So we've been talking about golden greenery here and we have um, the dies that we use to uh, cut out the pieces from the paper, but uh, these accessory dies here make for really pretty sort of sprig backgrounds. So I've got a couple of these cut out from very vanilla cardstock and let's take a quick look at these. So another option for this card uh, would be to take a couple of these and they're very pretty and very easily die cut. I love the Stampin' Up! dies, super high quality, uh, to slide them here underneath our tag, okay, to just give this a little extra. Now, if you are going to pop this uh, onto a present, like you were going to have this card be on the outside and you didn't need an envelope, 
I would highly recommend leaving some of these sprigs way off the end um, just to really dress it up and make it look super fancy. Um, but if you were going to go ahead and put it in an envelope, then here is the version with those sprigs um, included. And you can see I used my tag square on this one. Um, sprigs included, uh, but then they're sized to fit under there, um, under the uh, tag, okay? So just pushed in a little bit and attached differently. So there's sort of the two versions of that. And then of course the version here without the um, sprigs at all, just to have a little bit of choice. So, all right, so there are several fun versions of this card and options for mixing and matching um, the golden greenery and greetings of the season. And then of course this gorgeous, gorgeous new designer series paper. So like I said, the link is in the video description for this. And uh, it, the easiest place to find those online exclusives is with that link in the video description because um, it otherwise they get a little bit lost in the, in the online shop and you, I just don't want you guys to struggle looking for them. There's a bunch of new fun things. Okay, so I have another um, project to share with you that is totally not Christmassy, uh, featuring the same design, and that is this card here. So it says, you make me happy, and it has those sweet peas on it. And this greeting um, strip here is from the um, ephemera label package. And then these are strips of um, Subtle's designer series paper. And this card version is actually one that I created for the Why Did I Buy This Maker Club exclusive. Um, so that tutorial uh, is part of that club um, that I do with my friend Lindsay Mann uh, from Edmonton. And if you're looking for information about this club and more exclusive um, materials and uh, sort of mini share every month in the mail, mini product share, you'll want to look in the video description for that um, and learn more about our club and the collaboration that Lindsay and I have put together. So we're um, entering uh, our fourth month. Anyway, um, time's flying and we're having fun all together. So um, make sure you learn more about that. But either way, uh, this design is a really robust one and a really one, um, one that's easy to adapt to lots of purposes. So, all right, with that, um, let me bring you all back here. There we go. Um, thank you guys for joining me for our first of the Christmas in July projects. Um, oh, Sue says her birthday's next month. Yes. Happy birthday early. Um, so, uh, I'm glad to, to have you guys join me here, um, for our project. Sorry. Uh, we're zooming around. And I will have a couple more projects to share with you for part of Christmas in July, as well as some other non-Christmasy things. So don't worry that we're all, all Christmas all the time here um, in the Logan Stamp Studio for this month. Uh, but I hope you guys are having a great week so far, and I will look forward to seeing you on Thursday. That is, if we don't float away. We're supposed to get like two inches of rain today and three inches of rain tomorrow. Um, so... Yes, that would be exciting. So wherever you are, if you need some rain, we might have some to spare. So um, it's okay, though. We're really, really low on water right now. So this will be good to replenish a little. All right, everybody, have a wonderful Tuesday. And I will see you again on Thursday for another episode of Maker Moise with Meg. Thanks for watching, guys.